Well, by now you've probably seen the video, maybe you saw it right here last night, showing some sort of fireball, possibly a meteor, going through the sky above Texas. Two new videos we've got tonight, both from police cars. Now, on the left, this is from a Burnett County Sheriff's Patrol car, what you see. And on the right, this is video from a police car in Hewitt, Texas, and that is near Waco. Our Angie Bevan talked to a woman who saw the whole thing and has a closer look for us at the galaxies beyond. It was like a fireball. Laura Chorn saw it while she was driving home. From my account, it seemed like it was just bright yellow and a white trail. And there's other accounts of a blue and a green trail. There's one main sunspot. Amateur main astronomer main. Paul Lennis didn't see it, but says based on video and images, it looks like a meteor to him. Uh, most meteorites are about the size of a, um, basically a, a dust particle that you see. The, most of the really bright ones, about a grain of sand. That thing was substantially larger. The front lens. Lennis fell in love with astronomy in fifth grade. He's an electrical engineer, but still finds time for his passion. His favorite thing to track is the galaxies. It's very interesting to see something that is so dramatically far away. Where, you know, you're looking at something that it's 30 million light years away. The light that just you just looked at was, you know, 30 million years old. The suspected meteor Saturday has sparked an interest in the galaxies beyond for Chorn. I'm going to get my hands on a telescope. She hopes to see more activity in the coming days. According to the American Meteor Society, November 8th was in fact peak time for meteor shower activity. So I'm going to be parked out here and uh, waiting for the big event. Whether a stargazer or a lifelong enthusiast, astronomy sure puts things in perspective. If there's nothing else you'll take away from this hobby, it's exactly Exactly how small we all are. In itty bitty Austin, Angie Bevan, KXAN News. Well, the suspected meteor reportedly landed in Maverick County. That's near the U.S. Mexico border. Officials there say some folks felt the ground shake, but the point of impact has not been confirmed just yet. Help you understand this a little bit better. Meteors are shooting stars, what we may have seen last night. A small chunk of debris that burns up as it passes through the atmosphere. That leads us to meteorites. If a meteor survives the trip through the atmosphere and crashes into Earth, it's then a meteorite. As for asteroids, they're giant rocks that have their own gravity, sometimes even moons. And comets, well, they're a lot like asteroids, but they've got more ice and methane. 